an openly gay waitress and Marine that was actually denied a tip because people who disagreed with her lifestyle has recently received an outpouring of online support. I love this. Now her story is, of course, is while serving customers at a Gallup Asian Bistro in New Jersey, she was a victim of homophobia. Now homophobia, homophobia happens a lot from time to time. And this is just another such example. Now, this family refused to tip, not because of bad service, mind you, which is one of the only times that I actually think it's acceptable not to tip. If you have good service, there is no reason for you not to leave, the, leave them a tip. They make like $2 an hour. They survive on tips because they certainly don't survive on their wages. So, I mean, look, you got to tip people. <laughs> Okay, as long as if they give you good service, they deserve to be tipped. But apparently, this couple, even though the service was apparently good, they tipped. Be, they didn't tip because, well, we don't agree that you're gay. Well, I assume that she that that they assumed that she was gay because of the way that she looked. She's got short hair, so I mean that's kind of a giveaway, a butch haircut, whatever. Which they could have been wrong, by the way, because there are women out there that have short haircuts and are not gay. So they're once again, they're stereotyping, essentially, which I have kind of a problem with. But anyway, in this case, they were right, and she was gay. And they wrote on, her, their, on the receipt that, quote, I'm sorry that I cannot tip because I don't agree with your lifestyle and how you live your life. Now, how sad is that? Now, we've seen stuff like this before. There have been other LGBT servers that have been denied tips and because of the fact that they're gay. Now, you could say that they're using that as an excuse to be cheap. That's a fair argument. Or maybe it's both. They're anti-gay and they're cheap. And in that case, they're kind of assholes, in my opinion. So, I mean, of course, now... After receiving this homophobia from this couple, or from this family, I should say, she was hurt. And she vented her frustration by emailing the Facebook page, Have a Gay Day. Which, by the way, that is an awesome name. <laughs> now, she wrote that, I am thoroughly offended, mad, pissed off, and hurt that this is what her kids will grow up learning and that I served in the Marines to keep ignorant people like them free. Sorry, lady, but I don't agree with your lifestyle and the way you're raising your kids, but you didn't see me throwing that in your face and giving you shitty service. Absolutely right. So she said, she finishes out the email, keep your damn mouth shut and pray we never cross paths again. Now, in my opinion, that very last part, a little unnecessary, but I can understand. She's mad. She's hurt. She's offended. Totally, totally, rightfully so. And that attitude that the family expressed was not cool either. It's shitty. It's a shitty attitude and actually a really, really terrible thing to teach your kids. Oh, these people are gay? You should uh, not tip them because they're bad people, because we don't agree with their lifestyle. So we're going to deny them, even though they were good to us. We're going to be assholes to them because we don't agree with how they live their life. She's teaching that to her kid. That's I have a problem with that. Now, there's actually some good news in this story. Like I said, it was supposed to be an uplifting story. And it is. The outpouring of support. Donations have been coming to her from all over. All over the world. But the the show, to finally show how much better of a person she is, Dana Morales is, she announced that she is giving the donated money to the Wounded Warrior Project. Charity. How awesome is that? This is a great example of somebody taking a bad situation and making good of it. Like I said, she didn't ask for those donations. She just vented her frustration at hatred and bigotry. And when she got support, she decided to give that support to others who needed it. I love that. I love that about her. And so even, you know, the good lesson here is that 
even out of the stupid hatred and bigotry that this family showed Dana Morales, something really good came out of it. And it just shows how much better love and kindness is compared to small-minded bigotry and hate. And if that kid's going to learn any lesson, it should be this. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and share with your friends. If you want to see more, go to our channel at youtube.com slash TYTNation. And if you really want to support the show, support this channel, go to our fundraising campaign at www.patreon.com slash TYTNation. The website is in the description below. Thank you guys, and keep watching.